Well guys, it's autumn time as you can see and I'm slowly recovering from that chest infection I had. I think I had a touch of flu on top of it. So I'm getting my fitness back. I'm still not right like but I'm just trying to uh, quicken it <laughs> by going out and getting some exercise. I'll show you the surroundings here because it's nice autumn colours. I thought I'd get out, I've got the wildlife camera with me as well. So I'm going to get some wildlife shots for my uh, wildlife film bank. I've got a hard drive where I keep all my uh, wildlife shots that I collect over the year and then I've got that in the bank so that whenever I want to make a, a, a mini or a, a, a decent wildlife film that's what I'm going to be doing. <coughs> well, that's that's what they're there for. I know that's what I'm going to be doing. But I have thought about it. Like uh, it's in the it's in it's in the mind. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to be making a uh, what kind of wildlife here in Dumblane? Not that type of thing. Know what I mean? What you can see in Dumblane or basically Scotland? Know what I mean? The UK. Anyway, let's get on with that. I'll probably talk about that uh, project a wee bit in the future. So let's get on with today's vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, I just received a delivery of these that I had ordered off eBay. Came all the way from China, so I'll show you these. The travel stickers, well, patches anyway. Look at these. There's lots and lots and lots of them, so I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with these. Uh, I'll, I'll take you through and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with this, the idea that I have anyway. I'll show you a couple just up close. They're there. Let's have a look at this one. British Columbia. They're like, you know when you go to a country and you get the stickers for your luggage and whatever that's what these are all the way from China Vodman that's for a special reason so I'm going to show you these <laughs> right guys uh, I've got the bag ready the one I was telling you about now I got this bag out of Sports Direct it's an Adidas bag you'll see in a minute and you can see how plain it is plain looking anyway well, I think anyway, I've never used it a lot, but I had an idea of what I was going to do with it, so without further ado, let's go down with this and show you what I had in mind. Just before we do it, there's some of the uh, stickers. Isn't that lovely? There's, there's loads, look. There's literally, I must, there must be about 100 in here and I bought these from China as I says for $5.99, eh, no $5.99 sorry, $1.99. I'm just trying to get some nice ones to show you. They're all nice like but... And they're nice. Let's see, Victoria, Hotel Victoria, see? Anyway, enough of that, and let's go on and I'll show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> right guys, I'll take off this tripod. And I'll bring you over here, so that you'll get a, a closer look at this uh, scenario. There's the bag. Get the stickers that I've chosen for this one. I'm going to place them on the bag in different uh, areas to see what looks the best. You know what I mean? I think I'll put that one up there. That one down there. And that one, I think that goes in there. That one there. So. I've spread them out as you can see, so 
but they're not all just next to each other. Anyway, let's get the first one on. You can see my idea anyway, don't you? Remember the old Pan Am airline bags? That's what gave me the idea. Uh, I always wanted one of them, but they're far too expensive. I've priced them on eBay and there's, I think the, the one I was looking at is about two or three hundred pound. But it is vintage, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's get the first sticker on. Now I've gave this a wipe my damp cloth before I uh, showed you the bag, so it's all prepared and it's brand new anyway, so try and get these this off put the first one on and that one I'm going in there as I said that's an elephant, that's why I chose it because it was wildlife themed now this is the first time I've done this, so we'll see how this experiment goes with the stickiness of these stickers, you know what I mean? And if uh, I do have a problem then I'll add extra glue to it. I've got special glue that would suit this uh, project fine, so I mean in my collection I've got, me being an artist, I've got umpteen different uh, Bondings are glues and whatever, so put that one in there. That's a nice one, Hotel Corona. Nice. Next! <laughs> I love doing these kind of projects, you know what I mean? It's, be it's nothing better than to do your own fashion uh, projects. Just the reasons at the road just now. Focus! Hey guys, coming up to one of my favourite areas or favourite paths, walks. You may recognise it. All the leaves are on the ground. <laughs> All the autumn colours are coming in. And you know, this is my favourite old tree which I'm going to give you another glimpse of Sheep's in the field <laughs> There you are My Ganapa san, this is next to my adorable cottage as well that I would love to have I don't think it's for sale though I don't think it will ever be for sale at the moment But there's the giant Isn't it lovely? I'm going to set the camera up and let you see just exactly the size of it compared to me. See if I can get. Uh, oh, here's one. See if that'll do. Nah, that doesn't show you. <laughs> it's blocked. I can hear a lot of geese as well. I'll try another one. This one? No, that's going to be precarious there. I should have brought a tripod. Let's try this one. Still doesn't show you the actual size yet, but it gives you, it gives you a wee bit of perspective. Love the colour it as well. It's huge! Anyway, let's get on and show you a bit of this cottage. As you can see, it's in an estate. Still hear those geese? Look. 
it's like a magical well it's quite a big cottage as well see if I can zoom in try to adjust this sorry about the shakiness there but it's handheld let's go and get a different angle A lot of geese flying about the day. Through the trees, see? Can you imagine the wildlife that's around about here? time guys is as as what I says in in the springtime is good but autumn's I think it's just as good as well. Summertime's not too bad for some strange reason for me. I, I think it's because it's too hot the weather and the animals uh, kinda come out at night more. Anyway, this is great, look. Yesterday I missed a squirrel. He seems uh, scenario the camera wasn't ready so that's what I'm aiming for today it was a red squirrel as well but there's a lot of animals and birds not out today so fingers crossed anyway let's go Right guys, I thought I'd show you something else. You know, at the start of the vlog, I showed you that I had sold that oil paint of a leopard to an American client. So that's a way to the USA just now. But I thought you might just like to see another one of my oil paintings, the leopard. That's a nice one. My dad likes this one. I did have it framed, but I used the frame for someone else. Uh, in fact, I've got the frame down here, I'll show you. It's just uh, been borrowed just now for another uh, oil painting that I'm busy doing. It's nearly complete, this one I'm going to show you. Uh, just a couple of touches to do, so. Let's go down and I'll show you it. It's down here somewhere. There you are. A lioness. Lay it down here. It's not completely finished. I don't think so anyway, but a lot of people would think it was finished. In fact, I'll take it out of the frame and show you. Because the, this, the frame does restrict the complete. Find me out. Just a blank. Well, it was a blank canvas, eh? but I've. Eh, <laughs> Made it into a lioness crawling through the grass after its prey. So that one's getting completed. 
to go on eBay at the moment and while I'm at it I may as well show you a couple of other projects I'm doing. The red, no the red stash, the field fairs. I've started doing field fairs in abundance as you'll see. <laughs> Uh, it's whichever uh, season uh, I'm, I'm into that I'm uh, doing paintings of uh, animals and birds so that's the field fairs put that over there just now is there another one I'll show you this one it's Robin I'm busy completing that one it's a Robin red breast still with the eyes and whatever to put in it that one and another bring it over another one of field fairs and if you look there I've penciled in that bird there the one at the back so these will soon be on eBay just shortly probably in the next couple of days or next uh, week or whatever but while I was here, I was I may as well had show you what my latest projects are. So <laughs> you can see I'm busy. I'm busy, busy painting. It's all different uh, animals and birds and whatever. Uh, big cats, as I said to you. So I did say to you that I was going to be doing a lot of uh, painting over the next couple of weeks, and that's nothing. That's just uh, what I'm doing the past couple of days. So. Anyway, I thought that'd be of interest to you. While I was raking something else out there, I thought this might be of interest to them, my uh, uh, viewers, sub sub subscribers. Uh, not that I've got many like, but it'll build, it'll build. So anyway, let's get on with today's vlog. Hi guys, I thought I'd show you the finished bag before I go again, so and it looks quite good. I added more stickers by the way. <laughs> it looked better with a wee bit more stickers. So I'll leave the camera down here and let you see it. That was okay. <laughs> so that's one done, and I also, while I was at it, I'll show you this one. <clears throat> also done this one. So, I would rate that as a success. I'll put them on eBay just uh, either before Christmas or just after for the sales. Next! We enjoyed that. I did. I love making things like that, as I said. <laughs> 